So today in this budget, I'm once again calling on the legislature to pass pension reform. In our negotiations on the interest arbitration cap, Mr. President, Madam Speaker, you promised me and committed to the people of New Jersey to bring a real reform package forward and make it law. And I'm pleased that it remains a priority for both of you. Senate President Sweeney, I heard you loud and clear when you were quoted recently as saying this, I want this thing done by the middle of March. That's my goal, to get the pension bill done. But I want to get this stuff finished because it has to be finished. This is what's killing the state of New Jersey. The cost of the pension and health care are destroying the state's economy. You were right. And I know that Speaker Oliver agrees with you when she said, our system has become unsustainable for the taxpayers and public workers alike. So changing the system is a priority. I'm asking both of you and the members of this legislature to make good on the promise to pass comprehensive pension and benefit reform on Senator Sweeney's timetable by the middle of March. And as I'm at... And as I'm asking the Democratic leadership to make good on their promise, I am offering a powerful incentive to sweeten the pot. If you pass real reform along Senator Sweeney's timetable, I will make a $500 million payment to the pension fund immediately, not wait until sometime in fiscal year 2012, which is all that the law we passed last year requires. This would be the first payment made since fiscal year 2009 by anyone, Democrat or Republican. So let's not wait. We get real reform on Senator Sweeney's timetable. We put real money into the pension fund immediately. Now, next, enacting reform of our public employee health insurance program now will enable us to take another vital step, providing critical property tax relief to those who need it most, hardworking, middle-class New Jerseyans and seniors. So, I am proposing today to double the property tax rebate for middle class families and our seniors to ease the transition to the 2% property tax cap we're implementing this year. Under my plan, in fiscal year 2012, senior and disabled homeowners with incomes up to $150,000 would receive double the benefit they will receive in the current fiscal year, which, by the way, they are receiving directly as a credit on their property tax bill. Non-senior homeowners with incomes up to $75,000 will also see their property tax relief double over what they will receive this fiscal year. And also in this context, this year's budget continues to provide municipalities with steady aid. That's right, mayors, at the exact same level as last year. So, there is no excuse for this relief to be eaten up with higher local taxes between receiving no further cut in municipal aid and faithfully implementing a 2% cap on property taxes. But let me be clear, the chance for middle class taxpayers and seniors to receive double the property tax relief without raising taxes on anyone else is solely up to you, the legislature. The ability to provide doubled property tax rebates involves a trade-off and requires real reform to pay for it. I've advocated health benefit reform, and earlier this month, the Senate President laid out his proposal, and I applaud him for his courage in doing so. We are in a position now to make progress, so let's seize the moment and do so.